Okay, so in this series of videos we're going to delve into matrices. So what is a matrix? So note the question states what is a matrix, not what is the matrix. So we're not going to be discovering anything exciting here like Agent Smith or Neo or Morpheus or anything like that. So unfortunately a mathematical matrix is not going to be like a Hollywood sci-fi film. But nonetheless, matrices are some of the most important and useful structures. So we've all seen a table of numbers, and what I have here is the top three teams in the Australian Football Premiership, and this table is current as of the 30th of June 2016. So we can see here we have the Hawks on 11 wins, 0 draws and 3 losses, and 44 points. We have the Swans on 10 wins, 0 losses, 0 draws, sorry, 3 losses and 40 points. And we have the Cats on 10 wins, 0 draws and four losses and a total of 40 competition points. So in this premiership ladder the numbers are all of the data in this table. The header row and the header column indexes all of that data. So if we take all of this information away we simply end up with a rectangular or a two-dimensional array of numbers. And this is essentially what a matrix is. Okay, so to make this a matrix, let's give it a name. Let's call it matrix A. And for matrices, we use capital letters. And if you see this in uh, typeface or written, it would normally be bolded. But uh, in handwriting, we would normally write this with a wavy line or a tilde underneath. So we say the matrix A is equal to the array of numbers enclosed by square brackets or we can use big rounded brackets. But I like to use square brackets because they're a bit neater. Alright now so each of these numbers in the matrix is called an entry or an element. And to use element notation because we've called this matrix capital A we'll use a little a to denote the element. But that's not enough because We've got 12 other elements in this matrix, so we need to specify which one it is. So the number 11 here is in row 1, so we use an underscore 1 to denote that it's in row 1, but it's also in column 1. So we use another little subscript, 1, to denote that it's in column 1. So the first one is in, so the first subscript tells us the row number, and the second subscript tells us the column number. Alright, so I'll populate the rest of the matrix with these index notations. So this is useful because if we wanted to find out what the value of the element A23 is, we can simply refer to the second row and then the third column to find the entry which is equal to 3. Now this matrix here has three rows and four columns. So this is what we refer to as a matrix of the order 3 by 4. So we say that A is a 3 by 4 matrix. And again importantly note that the elements always have the row number as a first subscript and the column number as the second subscript. Alright, so that will do it for our first introductory video on matrices. In the subsequent videos you'll start to understand why matrices are so important and useful in mathematics. So stay tuned for those videos. Hit that like button if you have found this video to be useful and helped you better understand what a matrix is. Share this with your friends and please subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.